Back in the Wallabies after jetting back into the country, James Horwell cutting short his end of season holiday. My wife and I were having a, a week in, in Greece because I hadn't given her a honeymoon yet, seeing we got married in a bye weekend in Super Rugby last year, so I'd promised her a honeymoon. And uh, yeah, we got a call in Greece and uh, we've had to postpone plans, which is uh, which she's understanding of. And yeah, I'm very, very happy to do because um, uh, I get to, an opportunity to play for my country again. The former skipper now playing his trade at Harlequins in England's Premiership after moving from the Reds last season. You know, I think it has given me a new, uh, new view on life and you know, new bunch of players, new, new bunch of teammates that uh, I've got to know and, and become friends with and that's really uh, been exciting for me. So I've, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, my first season over there. And now he's set to line up against several club teammates in Eddie Jones' rejuvenated England side. I think Eddie's been able to give them that confidence back and um, yeah, it's been, I guess you get to see firsthand by playing with a number of their players, you know, there's six guys from Quinns that are in their touring party, so um, yeah, it'll be, uh, be interesting coming up against them uh, and I'm sure there'll be some good banter flowing. The Wallabies enjoying a transformation of their own with 10 uncapped players in Michael Checker's first squad of 2016. As an older player who's been here a long time, I think every time you see a, a young player or a group of young players come into the squad, it really rejuvenates you and it's, um, it's great to see those new faces around last night and how excited they are to be involved in this team and, and hopefully for, for me as a senior player I can make that a special experience for them.